now our next guest burst onto our screens nearly 20 years ago i can't believe that as the man-eating barmaid mandy dingle far cry from the yorkshire dales it was her viennese waltz argentinian tango and american smooth moves on the strictly dance floor that really grabbed our attention one two three Go on, move your hand. Don't worry, boys, just me playing out again. Me and Man, we've got more in Man than we've ever thought. No fraternizing. Too late, Uncle Zach. We've already fraternized. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, you were funky, frisky, <laughs> and frothy. <laughs> and you can polish my bonnet anytime you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and brilliant. Lisa's here with us now. Oh, oh my goodness. It's like a trip down memory lane. That's it lovely. Is. <laughs> yeah. Your career's been very varied. You yes. can definitely see. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I like it that way. <laughs> Strictly, Strictly was just magnificent for you, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Just loved it. It. Yeah, just like changed my whole life. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd left the soap and it was my decision. Seven great years of doing playing Mandy and Emmerdale. But I wanted to leave. I wanted to, you know, tackle the big wide world. And, and it is scary as an actress, mm. but thank God, touch wood, you know, mm. I carried on working and working and working. It was great. Very varied mixture career. But yeah, then all of a sudden, I put a sparkly frock on and do a cha cha. And like, <laughs> literally, my life's just gone nuts. Well, it was it's really brilliant. emotional for you because we know, and you've you've been on here and you've discussed this in the past. So, uh, so you know, we won't go too deeply into it. Mm. But I mean, you, it was your mum's favourite show. She yes. absolutely loved it. Yes. And she sadly didn't see you perform in it. But you've said, you know, um, she was with you every step of the way. Completely. Mm. She, I've, I've said before, she was on my shoulders. You know, she passed away two weeks before we did the first live show, and and you know, she just said to me, darling, go out there and just be you. And Aww. if you know any legacy I can carry on for her, I did. I went out there and I was just me and, you know, <laughs> made it semi-finals and had a, had a ball, you know. So well, people see you as an inspiration. Our mm. Alison Hammond. Oh. She uh, I know. Love her, love her, love her. She, she went she in went because out. of you. I yeah. know, I know. And we, when I went to a training room with Strictly, it was amazing. Mm. And, and for her to say, it was because of me. And, and she's an absolute swear. She shouldn't have gone this weekend. No. She shouldn't, you know. But hopefully, like me, dancing will keep part of the life now for always. That's what Strictly does. It stays with you for a long, long time. And, yeah. and knowing how, you know, giddy Alison is, I'm sure she'll carry on. Now, you're here to talk to us about this incredible drama Jimmy McGovern, who's the most... I know. Like, hey, old Jimmy McGovern. One, please? Yeah. <laughs> so if you didn't know who he was, then this is a guy with a pedigree. Big, yeah. serious oh. pedigree. He uh, wrote, uh, uh, produced Cracker. Cracker, Cracker you know, yeah. So got a great Hillsborough. list of things. You know, yeah. I mean, when you get the phone call from your agent saying, uh, Jimmy McGovern's exec producer and they want you for the lead, you're in every single scene of the new drama. <laughs> really? Oh, that's a dead hard decision. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to say no. No, of course. I'm running all the way. Uh, character from heaven, you know, uh, and to be part of this moving on, you know, history that's been going for years yeah. now um, I'm hugely flattered yeah. well it's it's moving on it's BBC one it's 2 15 yes today um, is today. afternoon yes, yours, yeah. is, been today. yours is today yes mm. so uh, there's Moira and Ken uh, Ken's got um, MS yes. Moira obviously for the both of them money is very very tight yes she's holding down two jobs yeah and then there is this Massive dilemma. Completely, and it is, it's survival, and you know, we see it every day, even like Jeremy Carl we've watched before, do you know what I mean? This is going on day in, day out, and it's, do you make that little snap decision and how your brain works? And I've made silly decisions in my life, and the character of Moira that I play, obviously she's working as a dinner lady during the day, and then she's working in a, uh, an off-licence of a night, and the girl comes in over and over again, and she keeps winning scratch cards, £10 here, £10 there, you know, and then suddenly she gets this winning ticket, and I literally put it as my character of Moira, put it in the machine, you see it, and it's that one second decision. Do you take the ticket and steal it? Because they're on their uppers, you know, they're struggling really bad as a family, and it's the drama that then comes out of the fact that she does take the we've ticket. Got, uh, we've got oh, part yes. of that, because it's a very <laughs> dramatic moment, yes. and uh, I think it's about 55 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> we know on telly, yes, yes, <laughs> but we're going to yes, take a, a bit of it. This yeah. is, this is a <laughs> Mm. Ja jestem w sklepie. Idą do, do pracy. Mm. Poczekaj. Again? Have I won again? 25 pounds. 
Yeah. I will have uh, two lucky play and uh, three of those, please. Znova wygrała. Tak. 120 złotych. Oh, what does she do? Oh, what does she, she do? I know. Well, it's that turmoil. And then when we had the screening uh, about three weeks ago, and all the journalists were there, and they were like, what would you do? And I said, well, maybe I'm a true Cancerian. I couldn't live with myself. I would give the money back. But every single one of the journalists... they'd say to a journalist that They'd be like, answer. we're yeah, taking the money, we're taking the money. <laughs> There's not many people on the telly would admit to te oh, no, no, take it. Never, well, well, never tell the truth. So because, would you? Would you take the money? It's no, it's theft. Yeah, it's blatant theft. But if it was oh. Euro millions and it was 200 million quid, of course I'd steal it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the, we asked, we had a poll this morning. It's interesting to see what, uh, oh, yeah, what, what you said. Um, we said, if you found a winning lottery ticket that wasn't yours, uh, but you knew who it belonged to, mm. would you cash it in, hand it back, or suggest splitting <gasps> the winnings? 45% uh, mm. said hand it back, uh, cash it in 36%, and 19% sitting on the fence said they would split the winnings. Although, split the winnings with who? Yeah, the person whose ticket it was. They're not really they'd it. wrestle you for it. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. My, that's my ticket. But that's what we touched on in the drama today, because yeah. and, and uh, without giving the ending away, which is phenomenal, it does keep you thinking, like, what would you have done and, and sort of the drama that comes with it. It's very exciting. Uh, for you, not you couldn't really be very glamorous there, could you? <laughs> Look at me now, literally, you know, <laughs> the weaves on the makeup. Yeah, I, I, I love that. I love that. Um, when I get a script and, a, and I see the, you know, the character, I have an aversion when I, when I watch drama at home, mm. you know, actresses that like, when there's a bed scene, they wake up and they've got lashes on and mask. I'm like, no, we don't look like that in the morning. Yeah. And if you're not going to put yourself in the role and realise that, you know, if you're a girl from Salford, you know what I mean? You've got to look like that. And yeah. literally, I love all that, the whole de like that with a lovely... Look that's hairnet. very sexy hair. But that's a dinner lady. That's how well, my dinner lady real. looked at school. Yeah, absolutely. You know, bingo, wings and all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. it's real. Well, Aww. it's uh, it's moving on. It's BBC One and it's at 2.15 this afternoon. Yes. And thank you <laughs> very much. So. I love thank you. Thank you. It's so always lovely gorgeous. to see you. Pleasure to have you. Thank, thank you. you very much. <sighs> um, later on, another dingle will be here. And Mark Charnock is stepping in for uh, for Sharon. He's got news that uh, Stacey's no longer a Slater on the square. And after the break, Gox got tips for all body shapes, from bums to tums and everything in between. Which is obviously, what's that? What? Breasts? <laughs> I don't know. After Let's the have break. a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Your belly ball. <laughs>